Hello, my name is Derek Stevenson. I am the sound designer for the VRS project. Uh, I also helped with a little bit of the math and a bunch of the research. Uh, the sound design this semester has changed a bit because we wanted to incorporate more sounds from the actual bike that we're using. Uh, we are going to be changing the soundtrack uh, behind the bike. Uh, my name is Mark. I've been working on the code and the Arduino stuff. It involves a lot of very complicated code in C-sharp. I'm Jacob Sullivan. I'm with the group VRS. I did the fabrication for them this semester. Um, this is uh, another iteration that they've taken on from last semester in which they wanted to improve the base. I had some distinct advantages coming into this in that they knew the kind of problems we had to address to move forward to make it a better system. And so that was my first step. Um, create an incline that the wheel actually sits on so it doesn't sit flat, it's leaned, and it, the point of contact is at a 28 degree incline, as well as a suspension type of a system to allow for some lean and some give in the whole thing. We're going to add a Lazy Susan to both the front and the back to allow for both give in both the front and the back. I'm Kyle, and uh, I'm part of the VRS group. Um, this semester, we wanted to take what we had learned from last semester and apply it to a more precise, more fun, and more reliable prototype. Basically, we want to create a one-to-one -one experience, and because of that, we spent most of our time this semester researching bike physics and how you interact as a person with a real bike, um, whether that be through leaning, um, through your pedal speed, through the radius of your turn. Um, we learned a lot about the way the bike contacts the ground, and we, we implemented all of those all of those variables into this semester's um, iteration. Uh, that's definitely been the most difficult part, but in the end, I believe that's the part that will make this prototype much better from last semester's prototype. Oh God! Ah! That's amazing. Oh, I almost just got hit by a bus, you guys. The thing is that I feel like my feet are actually under the asphalt. Okay. Interesting. Like, like, I feel like I need to be, I don't know, four to four on the ground. We got a lot of good feedback at the private showcase um, last week. Some people really enjoyed riding the simulation, and some people felt like they had to get off within 10, 20 seconds because they got really sick. Um, and we think this has to do with the math not being perfectly accurate, which is one thing that we really set out to change this, this uh, iteration of the project. So we're going to Go back to the drawing board with that a little bit and then work out the lean mechanism as well as the um, turning radius. We're also changing the environment um, and this has become more of a physics project more than anything I feel like. So we're changing the scene so it's not a tight 90 degree turn hectic city landscape and we're doing a like basically open map like um, mountain landscape with a big road going through it. It's actually very common compared to what we had before. Insane. I like that a lot. You, I totally know. What I need to add uh, sounds for like collisions. Something I want to do if uh, when we get past all that is implementing a fan array in the front that will simulate wind. A lot of people mentioned how lifelike and realistic it felt as if they were riding a bike. But then on the flip side, there were the issues as they mentioned before with the steering and with the lean. <clears throat> so moving forward, I think some great things to accomplish would be to give it a finished look, paint, lights, or um, depending on your weight and your size, the system reacted differently. And to catch people right in the parameters that they have an enjoyable experience, I think we'll have to add an additional spring to the rear. Some of the bigger, heavier people who used it felt a lot of give, whereas some of the lighter people it was right in the move. So when we add this next spring, we're going to take it to just another notch up and it'll allow for a more enjoyable experience for all the users. Yeah, we tried to create a real one-to-one -one environment in which we can replicate actual bike physics in a virtual world. So we did this through a variety of sensors. We have a magnetic sensor back here. We're measuring the
you start to ride forward, you get air in your face. And then also, this is on a full spring, spring integrated system. So when you're riding your bike, you want to lose to This is the virtual reality simulation group for the digital culture capstone. This is a virtual reality bike ride. This is Jacob, Derek, Mark, and my name's Kyle. And we've all contributed to this project over the last academic year. So this is our virtual reality bike ride. We've tried to create a one-to-one -one bike riding experience in the Oculus Rift. Uh, this system uses a variety of physical sensors to sort of replicate what it would be like to ride a bike in real life in a, in a game. For fun, we've also implemented a fan in the front of the system. This fan blows in your face as you start to ride faster and faster to sort of give you that feeling that you're actually speeding up. The system also uses 360 degree audio to replicate a realistic soundscape as if you're actually riding. So I'm going to demonstrate what it's like to ride our VRS simulation. If you want a wider shot